Hi, it's Kelly here, and in this video we're going to talk about the tiny machines and how they do impossible work for you and how you can make them do impossible things. So I want you to stick around, and it's so simple, easy, it takes a couple seconds, and it makes your machines run like gangbusters, like a deer. You know, uh, I saw a deer one time in the front of the road, this was in Arkansas, he stopped and looked at me in the car, and then he, he paused, and then he sprung into the air several feet off into the grass from a standing position from his tiny little infinitesimal motors and I'm going to describe that to you in a moment and it was just wow look at that look at that so but first some housekeeping um, I'm, I'm depending on these Ricolas to keep my throat from you know keep me from coughing um, I should find a better you know a natural this is all natural but it's got sugar in it because it, if I rely on these too much over the years and decades, I've found that I get uh, ingrown toenails. So, but for right now, that's what I have. It just occurred to me a little bit ago that I should do that. And, and the second thing is, is that I might cough anyway. I've got another one, so I'm, I'm sucking on one now, but I think it's just about gone. So you, I might need to unwrap that one and do it. Um, and so anyway, uh, let's talk about these little motors in us. They're so tiny. That they the way they function. Oh, and let me also add that anything that I say, um, I put I make them as statements most of the time, but you can take them in as questions and, and and then check out the validity of whether what I'm saying is correct or not. So that for the purpose of helping it work for you, because I might hit on it partially, or I might hit on it 100 percent, or I might hit on it where it's only true for you for a month. And then if that happens, you know, you please drop it after a month and then go on, you know, use whatever information you have, additional information, to make things work for you in a perfect way. Um, so, let's carry on. We've got these little motors. That, I mean, we got, I mean, they're amazing because, you know, let's say a 200 pound man, uh, even though we've got billions and billions of cell motors, and there's, these motors are smaller, much smaller than the cell. So there's trillions and trillions of them, maybe quadrillions, I don't know, of these little motors. But a tiny electric motor, you could have a whole bunch of them, and they still won't get a, a hydroelectric plant turning. How do we know that? Because if you take the accumulation of your hydroelectric, of your motors in your body, and the, and the turbine is off, and you try to turn it on by pushing or, or whatever, because that's how your energy comes out, it's translated, you, you think they're not even going to come close to budging. It'd be like trying to lift a hydroelectric plant with your bare hands. It doesn't happen. So we need something to crank them up. And maybe the organs are a larger unit of motors, and so it cranks it up. And that's how the hydroelectric plants do it. They don't rely on the light switch you know, they might have a, a, a two-bar hand, handle that you push that gets this one motor going, and then there might be other larger motors get going to have enough to produce, you know, stepping up to get that, those copper, heavy copper wires spinning, right? So, now where do these motors come from? Well, we can refer to, in the Bible, uh, it says that in the beginning was the Word. And what is the Word? It, it's a sound, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And what is the sound made of? Frequencies. And they're not repeating frequencies. They're fractal or you know, irregularly shaped frequencies. They're tall and then short and what have you. Have you ever had your voice put up on a screen, you know, showing the sound, it doesn't go in a straight line or, or a straight spike, it's all over the place. And that's the sound. And this is in the Bible, in the beginning was the word, and, you know, um, the Bible might not be your thing, and I'm not asking you to read the Bible, I'm just saying consider this, because sometimes the Bible says things that seem to be consistent with, uh, with the way the world works, like it, you know, it suggests not to murder, and and we find that that uh, 
that's a good policy. And, you know, things like that. So there's a lot of good, ad good advice in there. Uh, I personally, because of the, my, I think it's because of my back injury, I've never been able to read more than 10 pages at a time. Um, and it has to be in modern English. And the Bible, of course, even the older versions is very difficult for me to follow, to comprehend. And, and the newer versions, um, I don't know, I just don't care for the writing in the way, you know, I'm used to the old ones, even though I'm only, you know, I haven't been able to read that much of it. Um, so, so I, it, I just listen to the stories, you know, and, and get what I can from them. And so, um, so anyway, it's, you know, it says there, the word, the word is, the word is a, a vibration, a, a sound, and that's a vibration. And so, the word is the motor that's inside of us. It's the vibrations that are inside of us. And those frequencies, and the frequencies are electrical. All right? And this is where uh, the heartfelt energizer comes in. It's, it's an imperfect machine because it's a physical machine. We, we, have, we have not been able to make a human being, thank God, because we use physical things on this earth, you know, non-living things to try to make a human being, and it's inferior. Just like, it's like uh, drugs. Drugs, medications are made from, not from living things, and so they are inferior, and our bodies don't respond to them in the same way. There's always gonna be a flaw, All right? The heartfelt energizers do produce fractal frequencies, which is a beautiful thing, and it produces an incomprehensibly incomprehensible number of fractal frequencies, you know, like the sun. Uh, now the sun, <laughs> the sun is bigger than the earth like, if, like a P is to the earth, right? That's, that's basically uh, how, how big the sun is. So uh, a uh, heart rate energizer is a little bigger, but still it would take a lot of them, right, to, to equal what the sun does. But we still, here's the thing, when we, our bodies have been, been exposed to repeating energies or to harmful energies, you know, if our lineage, if our great grandparents had a tough time starving in, in Ireland or Armenia or wherever they're from, and they're suffering, and the, the genes didn't pass through as well, or you know, and that led to alcoholism and, and, and you know, or just violence in the home, which of course produces bad frequencies, you know, heart, jagged frequencies, things like that. Um, you know, so so we're imperfect beings, generally speaking. <clears throat> I think everybody is supposedly, we're all perfect, imperfect. So. Uh, so we work with what we got, but the ones that we have, they can last, you know, 50, uh, 75, 100 years, 200 years maybe, uh, before they wind down. And so how do we get the, the best frequencies? Now, the, the point of the heartfelt energizer, what, what's its purpose then? Well, if you've been under repeating frequencies, like we have with 3G, 4G, 5G, smart beaters, you know, the ones that are outside your house for the, for the water and electric and that sort of thing. Um, if you have those, we've all been exposed to, you know, 24 hours a day. Uh, after a while, our body adapts to that. It has to in order to survive, just like we try to adapt to the medications that we take. And so we're locked in a little box. And, and the fractal frequencies have a hard time changing, you know, getting to us, because there aren't that many of them, very few. So we're living in this world of repeating frequencies, which results in lower brain function, lower reasoning, uh, easy to get frayed, our emotions to get frayed, irritability, uh, health problems of all kinds. You know, plants don't grow as well as uh, you know, you name it, and all kinds of new diseases and, you know, whatever. So, 
how so but if we have enough of the heartfelt energizers going it goes through mountains walls and windows so and when it hits a repeating frequency it changes that repeating frequency into another fractal frequency and the old one changes into a new fractal frequency and it doesn't matter what it is because it's got the in there are the resonant notes that our little tiny machines need to run. So hopefully, uh, <clears throat> so now when it's in there, the people who are, and that's all of us, are stuck in this little room, feeling at each other's throats, now we start feeling, oh, all right, I feel better. I can tolerate you, even though you're in my face, because your face feels pretty good to me. And, and, and things just calm down. And the plants love it, the, the plants calm down, the animals calm down, everything gets better. And then we're more open to realize that we are indeed comprised of these electrical things called frequencies that come from what is referred to in the Bible as the Word. Now, in the Word, have you ever run into anybody or seen two people who both are practitioners of the Word and this guy and that gal are saying, this, the Bible says this, and no, it says that. No, it says this, that, da, 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 da. right? Yeah, so, well, this person was making a cake, right? And it needed eggs. And this other person was making a peanut butter salad, jelly sandwich. So it needed peanut butter. Well, so they, 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 you know, this, this was for a different thing. So the peanut butter is the lesson of that particular verse, and the, and the egg is the, is the lesson of that other verse on the same topic. Because sometimes, you know, you got two people who, who uh, have the same apparent problem, but one runs away from it, right? So you want to give them a lesson of why not to run away. And the other person, because they have a, the same problem, runs into the wall. So they need a little different lesson. You don't want to tell that person to run into the wall harder. You don't want to tell this person to run faster. So we, the lesson is geared for different things. So if it doesn't work for you, that lesson, just put it aside and see how that works. And if it, like I said before, if it works for a little while, see how that works. Oh, and by the way, I'm just giving you a lot of information. And, you know, they say the best teaching is to give one thing and do it in a dramatic way for people to remember. And, and no matter how smart we are, if we hear 10 or 20 different things, we don't remember any of them. So I invite you to listen to this video repeatedly, over and over again, you know, every day in the beginning maybe, and see where it takes you. And, and when you're doing it, put your hand on your heart. And so let's do that right now. Because what we want to do is we want to take the frequency, maybe from the heartfelt energizer, or just from you know, the troubles in our life, and we want to change the frequency. And so we just, we might go ahead, put your hand on your heart and feel, feel what's going on. And now bring in some, some joy, bring in some, some love, for example. And if, the, if you're having a hard time translating that love or, or that hard time into love, Bring something in that does that. Maybe it's this video is giving you, oh, all right, I'm really grateful to hear this information because now I can, I can be grateful for that. And I just want to feel, feel, feel. So it's not the for that. Don't focus on, on my words. Focus on the feeling, always the feeling. Always bring yourself back to the feeling and intensify it and intensify it and intensify it. So when you're... As I mentioned in the last video, if you're wiping a plate clean, 
you, you intensify not the wiping, not you don't rub harder necessarily. You 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 intensify the feeling that you get that you're so grateful to have a plate to eat off of. And then you discard the plate and you move into the feeling. So that's what this exercise is about. The heartfelt energizer will unlock everybody from the rooms that they're in and then bring them to where they can hear and feel the frequencies from the original word. And the, and the original word occurred before the Bible was ever written. So we, I, personally, the Bible is an example of the word for me. For me. You might say, no, the Bible, you don't say, but you probably don't say the Bible is God. You just say, go, refer to it as the, word of, as the word of God. So we know that God was here long, long, long before the Bible was ever written. And not all the Bible was written at the same time. So we wouldn't say, well, no, even if we said the Bible was written during the first six days, no, it wasn't written at the same six days because we're on earth and it was written the Old Testament happened first and then and then Jesus came and etc. So so it's the Bible is our reference point as a memory for the word. At least that's the way I look at it. I could be you know, I may find out later that that was I'm all wet about that. You know, that's fine. And I'll do it at my own pace. Um, I, you know, it, it's all right. You don't have to devote your time to fix me. Um, I don't want you to do that. I want you to focus on really loving yourself and, your, and God's motors inside of you 100, 1,000%. So one of the steps might be is that you want to get heartfelt energizers and get them going to assist more people more quickly to get to where we're going, which is going to the land of the word. The land of the word is definitely invisible. Invisible, whereas in the physical world, you know, we do have our emotions, our imagination, thoughts, and the unconscious, um, that and the subconscious, that we, those aren't physical per se, but they're, they have some materiality to them. The, the, the land of gratitude and grace and, and love and praise and forgiveness, that's in a, it functions by a different set of rules. You know, the people who say they've had near-death experiences all come back and say, the rules there are different. They're just really different. I can't quite explain what it was, what, what it was all about. But, you know, all the judgments we had and the hatred and, and, the, and, the, and the guilt and, the, and the, all the things we did wrong, nobody cares. You know, somewhere in the Bible it says something about we are forgiven immediately, we still have to serve our time. And we can, you know, and, and that time that we serve it, under God is, you know, a, a day is a thousand years and vice versa. So it might, we might serve physically a thousand years, but it's going to feel like a minute. If it feels like a minute, we don't care. So, you know, as, when I was younger, I could hold my breath for more than a minute. So, you know, I could do that. And, it, you know, it wasn't any big deal. I could probably hold it for two or three minutes. So, um, there you go. Um, I think that's everything that I can think and cover for right now. I'm sure there's more that I've left out. And you can tell me what I left out, um, you know, Feel free and tell me from your own experience and your own feelings. That would be fantastic. And you know, if you want to get the Heartfelt Energizers, I've got other videos on it, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you want to learn more about a, a way that makes it so much easier to, to get into your heart, um, this book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly, will get you there in a couple of seconds. And it's hardwired in your brain to work. Hardwired. So go ahead and get this book if you don't have it already. You can re review it. Uh, you know, particularly if you really love it, let me, let Amazon know. 
if you didn't love it, you can let me know, and I can, I can fix it. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, well, I, I guess that's a signal to tell me I, I'm done. So, uh, thanks for listening, and and God bless you. And let's just once again uh, move into your heart, feel it, feel it, feel it. Feel the joy. Feel the love. Feel your gratitude for to God. Feel how wonderful it is to praise God and how free you are to ask for forgiveness. And, and uh, let that just get more intense, more intense. And as we go along, we can do this more and more often. We can do it every moment, but when we forget, that's fine. When we, when we remember, um, the miracles seem to unfold. Oh, you are a miracle. Thank you so much. God bless you. We care about you, and we love you. And remember that the blessings already are. The blessings already are. There's even an ancient term, Arush Bashan. I, I don't know if that's... Sanskrit or what, but it means the blessings already are. And they are. And, th and this exercise will show you that they already are. And that you already are blessed. All right. Take care and God bless.